tell them. Uh huh. <laughs> Today is Sunday, September seventeenth, twenty seventeen, and school is officially in. Nazika. <laughs> but you, please don't do that on the show. Please. Never do that right, shit ever again. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never do that shit ever. You're just trying to trigger hey, yeah. me like right in the beginning of the fucking show. He triggers my ass right in the beginning. I can't do this shit with you today. <laughs> you know, somebody going somebody to do it. It might as well be us, right? Whatever. Fuck your two steps. And that shit right there. So, um, what's up, what's up, what's up to everybody out what's there? Um, I am Mitch, and I am joined, as always, uh, by my always illustrious co-host, the, the always woke Aaron. Yeah, hey, yo. I hate that fucking term now. I hate it. It's like, it's so fake. It is, yeah. Like it's become the, the the fucking you know what you talking about Willis and Dynamite, oh my you know <laughs> fucking catchphrase of the 2017 like woke woke they woke wokeness and I'm also joined as always by the trickster over there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I got me on it. <laughs> <laughs> The never, um, the, the never Usta. You gotta watch the, uh, the movie to know what that is. <laughs> the mm-hmm. never Usta, Anthony. What up, what up, what up? No nose downs over here. <laughs> <laughs> Today, uh, we are doing the Dear White People show. And we're talking about the movie Dear White People versus the show Dear, Dear White People, which, um, both were written and created by Justin Simeon. And if you have not seen either one of those yet, what is your problem? What are you waiting <laughs> on? Do you have some sort of mental issues? I'm wanting to read you. They read the negative press. Get from your people ass who didn't out there. Whatever. Get the hell out of here. Dear white people is not just entertaining, it is poignant. Mm-hmm. It's entertainment done right. So if you have Netflix, you should definitely go on and see the series. And you can also, if you have the the version of Netflix where you can get the you know the video, and you can get the DVD too, you can watch it. The movie was hard to find. I will say that's all I'm gonna say on air. The movie was hard to find, but I managed to find it. Um, I wonder why it's so hard to find now. Probably because of the nature of it. Yeah, I see um, Birth like, of a Nation going the same way. You're not going to be able to find that. Oh, I got, a I, years I got Birth of a Nation. I do, too. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Um, brace yourself. That's another yeah. discussion. Definitely brace yourself. That's another discussion. Because I feel 100%. like it's a story that needed to be told, but I got a problem with it being historically inaccurate. But that's another discussion. Hey, yeah. But that, you know, that, that, that always happens. So, yeah. so, um, Dear White People, the movie came first, obviously. It came out in 2014. And the show was actually just, the series was just released, um, April 28th, 2017. Mm-hmm. So... There were 10 30 minute episodes. Very I'm not well sure done episodes. If, well, and I'm not sure if I haven't heard anything about it getting picked, you know, make sure that it was renewed so you can see it, you know. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't feel like it was supposed to. I don't I think was nothing to on Netflix that out is initially. Too, but. Like, it seemed like everything they make on Netflix is made like this is going to be the last season, except mm-hmm. maybe Narcos. Well, I, I'm trying to figure out 
it, you know, if all the angry Twitter folk that were triggered show, like, you know, talking about let's boycott Netflix, because this show is racist against white people. Oh, is that what Charlottesville was about? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you right now. <laughs> See, but, but like, I mean, this wasn't this wasn't even as bad as it as it could have been though. It wasn't even but as bad as the show. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. I felt like the the white people in the movie weren't represented as poorly as they were in the show. I feel like we actually got to see their side of things better in the movie. Mm, I agree. Like, they like, seem more like realistic. You got to actually, you, yeah, you actually got to see pastiche and their interactions. So let's talk about some of the similarities and differences between the the movie and the show. So like the, the movie comes on and the biggest thing is some of the actors are different. Mm-hmm. And Sam White is like one of the major characters and she's one of the ones that you see first her and Lionel you see him first and on the show Lionel is played by um some eighth grader oh my god <laughs> by, his, name, his name is Deron Horton yeah and in the movie he played by the dude that played everybody hates Chris um, Tyler, Tyler James Williams. He played the shit out of that role. Tessa Thompson plays Sam White in the movie. And she's the same lady who played um, in Creed. She played the love interest in Creed. Opposite um, Michael B. Jordan. Mm-hmm. How y'all and feel about Creed? Creed was alright. I liked the movie. It didn't I thought deserve it was a good update. I thought it, it was a good update. After. Eh. I don't know. Uh, it was all right. I kind of dug it. I felt like it was lacking something. Like what? I can't quite put my finger on it. Did like it lack character Kato? development for the like <laughs> It might have. It may have. It lacked <laughs> character development for the main character. I don't know. I don't know. I think I kind of. I think I understand where the young Creed was coming from most of the time. Baby Creed in jail, yeah, but not 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 adult Creed. They didn't really go kinda, too much into him. I mean, I think I kind of did. I think I got it. You know, he was angry at the world. Yeah, he was he was triggered by shit. So anyway, um, <laughs> the um, the Sam White in on the TV show is played by Logan Browning. What do you guys think about their those two characters? Like, what do you like and what didn't you like about their portrayals on the show versus the movie? I preferred the show version. Of whom? Of Sam. Mm-hmm. Like, I felt like her character was more explored on the show. Okay. Well, to an extent, to an extent. Like, her dealing with her relationship with the white boy and her friends and all that but like on the movie they went more into her dealing with her biracial and they delve more into yeah they delve more into her parents and whatnot well i think that's why they didn't do it so much on the show because they did i I agree i agree they assumed that you saw the movie right i don't think you should assume that i saw the movie I don't. I don't think. I think it might have backfired in terms of her character. At least, like the movie was easier for me to watch after I saw the show. I didn't like the movie at first. Yeah, mm, I watched the movie yeah. first. Yeah, that makes sense. I watched the movie first, and I had already watched it, and I kind of had formed my opinion. I liked it, but when I watched the show, I think I told you guys when I watched the movie, I like the themes and how the themes were conquered better and I like the plot more so of the movie than I did mm-hmm. of the show but on the show I connected to the characters and I like the right. characters better yeah I connected to the characters on the show when I first watched the movie I stopped before Sam was even elected as the head of house that's like the beginning of the movie yeah it is it's like the very beginning she's like yeah, I couldn't, head of the house I couldn't I couldn't get past that part I couldn't get so I couldn't for those who don't know what we're talking about the movie is the way it, the way it kind of starts off is this is an Ivy League school 
that is called it, 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 it's a fictional it, it's a fictional Ivy League school called Winchester University. Mm-hmm. Winchester College. It, it is predominantly white, obviously. Um, it's it has a bunch of different you know halls where people live and the the hall that is basically. <laughs> the segregated where all the Negroes are. Segre- very segregated. It's How the hell did they get away with that? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, we had that at my campus where I went to school at. Like there was there were several houses up on campus that most of the black people stayed in. And there was a bunch of other houses that that were different than that. So it's not like that shit is far fetched. The shit Wait, did happened. you see the- <laughs> Did you see the poster for the hall where all the black folks live? Yeah. The, the the tagline on the poster said, "This is where you belong," or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like here I'm you like, get wow. blackie. This is where you. That's live. out of pocket. That's so out of pocket. And it was called Arm Armstrong Parker was the name of the hall where the black people live. And now the the hall where all the rich white people were. What was the name of that hall again? Sorry, with a C. Uh, it escapes me at the moment. But, but the magazine um, was called Passage. Yeah, so there is like a angry it's like the it's like the angry black students um that that have their little group together and of them Sam White who who does the show Dear White People that the movie and the show are both named after. Mm-hmm. She does this show called Dear White People where she gets on the mic and she just keeps dropping all these bombs like Dear white people, <laughs> stop trying to dance in public. It's not working. Or, or <laughs> dear white people knowing the lyrics to a Lil Wayne song doesn't make you... Does not make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> dear white people, you I, I don't care how many rap songs you know, you may not use the word nigger. Mm-hmm. Dear white people, um, what's all... Oh, do not on ask on. me if you can touch my hair. Please this is not a petting hand. zoo. It's not a petting zoo. Shout out to uh, the cranes in the sky. Yeah, right? <laughs> Don't touch <laughs> my hair. <laughs> Shout out to you, Solange. Dear white people. Um, what's the? Oh my God! What's the one she said that had me cracking up when she says, "Dear white people." Uh. There was a couple of ones on the show. Right you talking about the movie on the show? This both. So she did she it. She said she something did. about on the show. She said something about um. She said having sex with a black dildo. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Having sex with a black dildo does not mean that yeah. you like. Yeah, it does doesn't count as an interracial relationship. As an interracial relationship. Oh, this is what she said. Um. Oh, uh, she said. Um. Dear white people, the quota for you mm-hmm. not being racist. For how many black friends you need to have has now been raised to two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was like, she said, your weed man does not count. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the, show is, the show and the movie, they're fun. Like, it's funny as shit, the kind of stuff that she comes up with to say on there, but she's biracial and her trope is basically that you know she's a she it's that trope of being you know as her boyfriend in the movie says a, a tragic mulatto and she was like you can't say that to me mulatto mulatto you mulatto you can't be like mulatto 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 <laughs> did somebody just say mulatto <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're like somebody just say mulatto you can't fucking say that shit <laughs> It's like what? a dry humor, though. You gotta be oh, comfortable like, with it. I love your, that shit. I love dry I humor, did, though. And that's what, that's why the show and the, and the movie are both funniest, but and for different reasons. For very different reasons. The shit is hilarious, but I think they show all the characters as more flawed in the movie. What do you guys think about yeah. that? Because like, they were good and bad to, to every character. Right. They they had more time to flesh out certain characters like um we were talking before I like Coco better on the show. She was I love Coco on the show. Coco was almost like an obnoxious throwaway on the movie. She she was like the um the tragic protagonist. 
And let's see, Coco was played. Same with Troy. Same with Troy. Joe by. Um, sorry, on the show she was played by. Internet. Uh, Tiana Paris on the on the movie. Yeah. And on the Let's show she was played by Internet Anthony Robertson. 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 Yeah. Was she bad or on the movie or the show? <laughs> Why would I be answering that question? <laughs> she was on the show. She was bad or on I'm the show. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. So, I'm going to say this. I'm a, okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm interrupting this shit. I tell you who was the same on the show and the movie. Do the play Remy. <laughs> Reggie Green. Reggie. Mark Richardson. Why? Yo, that dude, that dude is a pretty good actor, yo. I want to see Mark him in something Richardson. else. Mark oh. He's a pretty good actor, especially the the uh, episode of the show when they pulled the gun on him. You know what? That was, that very was one movie. of my... That it was, and it was hard for us to watch. Like It was. It was. It was. That was like hats off to the ball. That was excellent television yeah. right there. Yeah, let's get that man some applause. For his ass. I don't know. I, I think I would have been. You would have been what? No, I think um I think it would have been um uh better if they went about it a little differently. I think like they just that was just like a go to type of scene because of you know what we've even seen in the media and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, but, but that's what made it relevant. That's what made it like that's mm-hmm. what made it hit home. I've made it hit home because you always like, oh, if I was in this situation, I would do this, I would do that. Like everything changed when you stand staring down a barrel of a gun. And I respect see yeah, exactly what Anthony is saying. I like that they included that on the show and we didn't see it in the movie. Like that brought a different dynamic to Reggie, and then his reaction to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Man's everybody else, it. and then every like in in like Calandria, Coco's reaction to it, like you got to see every, you know how everybody reacted to that now being a, a reality. Like we're mm-hmm. always talking all this shit all the time. Oh, whatever your folk, your um, your fake woke um, Wokemon app. <laughs> 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 in the TV in the TV series, Coco walks up to um. To you know, to, to all of them on the campus, Reggie and all of them, and she, you know, because they created an app on the show called I call Woke it Woke or Mongo. Not Woke, and she Woke called Mongo. it Wokey Mongo. <laughs> 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 yeah, she was like, um, you fucking Wokey Mongo app. But see, in uh, and, and the same vein, like in the movie, her response to the the quote unquote hip hop party was more emotionally realistic than her response to it in the show. It yep. was, but it was partly, mm-hmm. I think in the movie, it's because unlike the show, Troy and Coco actually were partially responsible for having that party come to I think, fruition. I don't think that's different. I, I think they just didn't go as in-depth with it because they assumed that we saw the movie. Yeah, I don't think that they actually had anything to do with it in the but show. Didn't she use? Didn't she say the same exact thing she said in the movie though? At yeah, the end, it was the like same went, dialogue. She, it was the she same did. Dialogue. She just said the same dialogue, but I don't necessarily know that that means that she. Because like we don't see any of that happen. We don't know that that's what happened. They showed the that show. part. They showed. They showed no, that I'm part in the show. We don't know that. But we don't <laughs> know that that's what happened because remember Troy came in and called the cops like as soon as we right. saw it. Right, that's, but see, that's, that's where that's different. where me and your that's where me and your your opinions of the show differ because like I see the show as a continuation of the series because of yeah, little see, stuff I like that. Because there's like okay, for instance, you you never see in the movie you never see Troy and Coco's relationship out into the light. They touched on it briefly. I feel like they expounded on it more in the series because the series but covered that period of time. But the series did cover that period of time. Out. They did, but you don't see them out having a relationship, and you right. see them ending it very differently. Like, I don't see that as it being the exact same, like a, a, a see, continuation. I don't, I don't think their ending in the movie was really the ending of a relationship. No, but it was. It was him so saying, her, was him saying her, like, "I'm on, I'm on campaign right now for something different," and like your YouTube videos are gaining steam, and you're gonna hurt the campaign. And and he was like, well, you know, we had a good run, you know, it was fun. Like yeah. he was ending yeah. it. He did that line right there is the gray area for me. 
that line. He was ending it. He was like, yeah, okay, yeah, he we was, have fun, whatever. But on Bye-bye. the show, on the show, they say nothing about her YouTube channel. Well, there was no YouTube channel. There right. was no uh, reality show. Reality like that, show. all yeah. that stuff was gone. It wasn't there. Which is there ironic no because show. the reality show dude was the first person to call it a blackface party, and that's how they referred yeah. to it on the show as a blackface party. Yep. And see, and so, the and, and that's the party. other thing I was saying to Aaron earlier is that on the movie it was called a blackface party. On the show, they it was a hip hop party in the sorry, movie. movie. Sorry, Flip. Yeah. It was a hip hop party in the movie, and it was a blackface party on the show. That invite letter was hilarious. <laughs> you know what? It was invite- funny. It was funny both times to me. I thought it was funny. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, by the way, nigga, 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 nigga." <laughs> <laughs> That shit was hilarious, yo. I died. But I mean, what was that really what it said, or was that him just being satirical when he was talking? That was Sim the whole time. I don't think they read the actual letter on the show. But I mean, I'm saying, do you think that that was just a, like a, a a part that was satirical? That that's not actually what was there. I that no. He was just being so so I looked at it like Sam hacked the account and sent the invite out as Kurt. The son of the president of the school, white boy. I think Sam sent that letter out, hoping that people would protest it and be upset about it. But instead, what she got was a turnout for the party. And they, nah. didn't read, yeah. they didn't read the invite, the actual invite to the show. They just started with the party being crashed. And now on the show and the movie, she was the person that sent. She was the person that sent that um, yeah. invite. But they kind of glazed over it in the movie, but they dealt, they gave they a couple did. episodes to it on they the show. Gave episodes on the show. Um, they shut her show down though in the movie. They didn't do that on the show. They didn't do that on the show, which I didn't I didn't care for that, and I was was angry. But yeah, they, and she started a, a newspaper. There was also a dynamic to Sam and Reggie. So Reggie is basically. Like your quintessential angry <laughs> black man. Yeah. The yeah. way they pinned him, like, yeah. you know. And he was kind of like her, her her counterpart in crime. Did and they I have think sex on the movie? They did not, that we could see. Nah. Nah. I don't think, think so. it got that far. It didn't get that far. That's why. He that's just, another reason why I say the movie. He did kiss her, though. He did shoot his shot, though. He did, he did kiss her. And her, her white boyfriend saw it. Well, I guess yeah. it's not her boyfriend because he told her they were just fucking. No, she, she told him. He he, she yeah, told she him. Told him yeah, she told him they was just fucking. He said, "Sam, what are we doing?" She was like, "Fucking." Well, that's that's another reason why I say the show took it a step further. Well, she kind of took it to the next level with him on the show, but again, her her relationship dynamic with Reggie was very different on the show than in the movie. I feel like it was after. It was after all everything that happened in the movie. Yeah, see, I don't because. And he, I think that I think casting the same character illustrates that. Well, no, they would have cast the same character if they could have got her. They they just couldn't get her. She had other obligations. They couldn't get her, but they got Reggie. I know, but they got everybody that they could get. So because yeah. they couldn't get Tessa, they just didn't. But wait a minute. Guess, so you saying that's you not saying an indication of yeah, sex after after the events of the first of the movie? Yeah, like I think I no, like, she wasn't even I talking think, to him anymore. I think Aaron, I think I think that the movie is one set of events. Like the movie is the first two semesters of the year, and this TV show is the second two semesters of the year. I think mm. it's a chronological thing. Yeah, see, Ms. I don't think Ms. so Ms. because kind of disagrees. Well, she stopped talking to him because of what he did to her. There, there's no dynamic in the movie. Sorry, in the show where he betrays her like that. In the movie, uh-huh. he betrays her by using her ID or whatever. Because remember, early in the movie, he says to her, "You can yeah. have your ID all out where it can be seen, and like people are hacking yeah. it or whatever." I mean, you're just asking to be hacked, See, and then he they- did. Wait a minute, let me finish. He did take her information because that house, that house nomination that she got, and they were yeah. in for the beginning of the show, she won the election. But she Cause won he- artificially, but it was because Reggie actually fixed 
the election. He fixed it. And he so, fixed it. So after that happened, she called him out she, on it. She 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 did, but she kind of cut ties and she took her hair down. Like there was this whole symbolic thing that happened in the movie. She took Brand her hair up. down and she let her like she let her mulatto hair, you know, come out like her half. <laughs> And then hey, she yeah. wore it like that. I mean, she but said, seriously though, she, she did. Even said, she even said, I'm tired of being everybody's angry black girl. And so there was a dynamic of betrayal that was present in the movie that was not there. I, I saw it. Right, yeah, I see what you mean. It wasn't carried like, on to the show. Like, like execution-wise, execution wise, I feel like in the making of the movie that that was pretty cool to me. Because it's like, you can speculate either way whether the show was a continuation or it's a whole different storyline. Because it works either way. Yeah, I just think that in that instance, in the movie, because you, you, you got to remember, the movie was being made, it, the movie wasn't being made with the indication that it was going to become a show. Right. So, it, so yeah. it probably wasn't being made as a continue. It was just like, okay, we don't want to rehash the exact same story we did in the movie. Right. Let's, let's start from a different place I don't and know. kind of bring the same, you know, dynamics and stuff in, but, like, she doesn't, okay. like, I can't see her ever talking to to Reggie again, because they, they walk past her, you know, like, tongue kissing her boyfriend in the mouth or whatever. But see, yeah, I feel like, they kind of, they kind of, like the I think, covered I think the same time period. But it wasn't the same time period, it's very different. It was, that was right after he, she got betrayed by Reggie. Like, I, that, I'm, that, I'm, that stuff I don't, never I don't happened. Know. Yeah, it, I think, it, I think we have to worry. By Reggie, she doesn't like like there are two events that are very different that change the dynamic of the show and the movie. Ray, mm -hmm. um, Reggie's betrayal and Reggie getting treated that way by the cops and get it like those two things are very different in well, the, see, the show and the movie. I saw it as two separate time periods. Like, Reggie's betrayal happened earlier on in the semester, and they didn't feel the need to cover that in the show because they covered it in the movie. See, I don't think she would come back. Like, like the way it was shown, the, the two of them were done with each other. I don't think she was going back to that dynamic. They were still cool by the end of the movie, though. I don't, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Like, by the end of the movie, she was at the party filming, but she had her hair down, and the show started at but the remember, party with her hair down. But remember, on the beginning of the show, and too. When the show comes in in the beginning, she's having she's at an the affair party. with this. No, she's having an affair with the white dude, and nobody knows it. Because the movie picks up right. It, it, the show picks up like as the party is getting ready to go down. Then the party goes down. Then they show the direct aftermath of the party. So they so show where, all of the stuff. So where I feel like they show. Stuff? Wait, I feel like they show all of the stuff that happened in that time period on a show that they didn't show on the movie, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it was all like a flashback. It was all like I think a flashback. What they, I think, I'm telling you, I think what they did is they just took what um happened in the movie. They they started the show, like, every, like, when they tell everybody's story, a lot of, um, a lot of times they just start from the party and, and like, go from yeah. there. And I think they just, I think they the just show did it. The I think they, the show. The, the show. They start, yeah, they start from the party and they tell everybody's story from there. But what they do a lot of times is they they show you like stuff that had been that happened like you know, be, yeah. They show you flashbacks and all that type of stuff. But it's not necessarily done. In, it's not necessarily done in a way where it's supposed to be consistent to the um, events of the movie. Yeah, same thing I said. Like it's very different because there's no.